Hey everybody, welcome back to Video Game Esoteric and our continuing series, The Unported Playlist, where I take a look at some of my favorite unported arcade games of all time. And today we're taking a look at Power Instinct 5. And this is a game that I've been wanting to feature on this playlist for the longest time, and I finally got around to doing it. Because if you've been watching my channel at all whatsoever, you know I absolutely love Matra Melee on the Neo Geo AES and MVS, and Power Instinct 5 is the next game in this series. Before we get too far involved, if you me a huge favor, go down below and hit like, subscribe, and that notification bell definitely helps us out. And if you feel so inclined and you want to support the channel, we got a Patreon link down below as well. But I've always loved the Power Instinct series, and this game is no different. And weirdly, this game never even left Japan. I've never seen a single instance of this game being localized for the U.S. market, nor has it ever been ported to a home console. So this is not only unported, it is just a Japanese-only game. But the nice thing is, this runs on the Taito Type X, and that is just a Windows PC in a box made by Taito. So getting this running on your computer is quite easy because it's a native application so long as you have it configured correctly. But I can't say enough good things about the Power Instinct series. And this is one of those franchises people either seem to absolutely love it, like me, or people don't go anywhere near it. It's a super competent, super fun arcade 2D fighting game, but it's just one of those things that either hits with people or it doesn't. I absolutely love it, and with this new version, Power Instinct 5, the special moves, they incorporate some 3D and some fun animations, so it's just an evolution of that classic matrimonial formula. Because I will say the roster is quite large, but they've basically reused all the sprite work from the AES version. Even though this is running on a computer and you can get it to run in high resolution, the sprite work is just wholly borrowed from previous games. Games. So compared to some other 2D fighting games, while there are a lot of frames of animation in each individual fighter's, you know, kind of retinue, you're going to see that they don't look as high resolution as some other games that would have come out around the same era. And I don't mind that whatsoever. I like that really chunky 2D pixel look, but some people were probably looking for something a little bit more impressive. Because you can see the backgrounds here as we're fighting on top of this wooden platform in the city. Those are way higher resolution than the actual characters are, and that's just because of that asset reuse. You may not like it, I definitely do, and I have no complaints about it whatsoever. But I've always loved Matra Melee. It's just a weird, quirky game that doesn't make any sense. The story's strange, the music is odd, all of the different stages are kind of quirky, and I just love that. But the nice thing is it isn't just weird for weird's sake. This game has a ton of really good fighting mechanics. You'll see there that Rin, my opponent, tried to pull a super on me, and knowing what that super is, I was able to jump over it. But I know you guys like when I mix characters up. Usually I play as Annie, but Chin in here, if I'm pronouncing that right, is one of my other characters I like using. Each character has their own individual moveset, obviously, and they all feel really fully featured because a lot of these characters are leftovers from previous games. So Noise Factory, the developer of the Power Instinct series, has had a lot of time to hone the game and balance it as best as they can. There's definitely going to be some characters that are overpowered and some that are definitely underpowered, but once you find a character or two that you really like using, you're going to stick with them and you're going to have a ton of fun playing this game. And it's super disappointing it hasn't been ported yet and probably never will be because I would absolutely love to have this on a home console because I have all the other Power Instinct games in my collection. There are some boards for sale online out of China. They're like $300 each, and I may end up buying one of those just to check it out because I do want it in my collection. But you'll see here in between you know, every couple of rounds, you do get a bonus mini game. It's just giving you combos that you need to hit, and you can choose easy, medium, or hard. There really isn't any bonus outside of just getting a little higher score. But if you do input the command correctly, you're going to be able to go ahead and pass that individual test. And I really do like that. But as good as the graphics are and as good as the gameplay is, the soundtrack to any sort of Power Instinct game is just absolutely wild. So go ahead and listen to this song because I love it, even if maybe the Native American representation is a little dated. And I'll be back in about a minute and tell you more about why. If you haven't played Power Instinct 5 yet, you should download it and check it out today. But enjoy! Oh, 
Yeah, just don't be an idiot like me and run directly into the super attack. You had plenty of room to dodge. I really don't know why I decided to move forward there. That was my own fault. But moving on here with a little bit of different characters. We're using Princess Sissy, and she was the boss of Matra Melee and was one of the cheapest bosses in a fighting game I've ever played. And interestingly, they have nerfed her a ton in Power Instinct 5. She's really not a great character to use. And I will say that the super moves are really easy to execute, except for some players, they aren't. I can't get a single super out of Sissy. That's a mouthful to say. But for other characters, it's really easy to pull off their special and super moves. But you're definitely going to find a character you like better than others, and you'll see here, I absolutely love the ending of that. You get that 3D animated old lady face of Ume coming towards you, and I'm just going to switch over to Olaf. But if you've never played any of the Power Instinct games, this is a great game to check out, and I will say that it runs natively in Windows 10. I can't tell you where to download it, but I'm sure if you know how to use Google, you'll be able to find it. Now, there is one caveat that I will say. The launchers for these games always say that there is a virus error. That is not true you can ignore it you should do your own research so you know that you can trust me by saying that but the way these launchers work for some reason windows defender malware bites any software you use will just say it is a virus and i love when olaf beats the character there he walks off into the distance in the city but the taito type x was a really interesting platform it has a ton of really good games because taito really hit it big with the type x type x2 and i think the type x5 now they've gone through that many revisions it's the predominant arcade board in Japan and in the US now for a lot of these games and it's really unfortunate that Power Instinct 5 didn't come over to the US in arcade games because I would absolutely love to play this on an arcade cab and I think I probably will buy one of the units out of China it's what's well, just $300 and they say it's new old stock and it looks good in photos I mean it's always dicey buying something from China but this is the type of game that I 100% want to have in my collection but if you've never played this if you never played Matter Melee definitely check them out because they are super competent really interesting 2D fighting games I love the video Visuals. I love the music, I love the art style, and I love just how strange they really are, because Power Instinct's always been one of those series that's kind of just being weird for weird's sake, and it always 100% works out. And like I said, if you're looking for a new 2D fighting game to play, this is definitely an awesome option. But I love this music too, listen for 30 seconds and I'll come and close up the video, but it's great. It's just so weird that you know it has to be good. But yeah, that's Power Instinct 5. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Have you ever played the game? Have you ever seen a cab that I'd be curious to know? I will be back next Sunday, another episode in the Unported Playlist. A lot of videos in this coming week as well. Like I mentioned earlier, do me a huge favor. Go down below and like, subscribe. That notification bell definitely helps us out. And if you've never played this game before and you're looking for a new 2D fighting game, go play it now. Bye-bye.